Okay, hey everybody. Hi. Um, I am making some dinner for today. I'm making a brisket and I thought I would record it just so everybody could see what I'm doing. So I've got this uh, four pound brisket from Bel Campo Farms and um, I definitely recommend them. This is one of the best places to get grass-fed regenerative meat and um, they have a sale going on this month so if you buy from them uh, and use my code 8A10 you actually get 20% off um, until mid-March I think um, instead of 10% and um, you know they're really sort of celebrating and, and making sure that people are aware of their the health profile of their meat so they have um, grass-fed meat, it's got lots of omega-3s, um, and uh, it's just a really healthy. So there you go, you can make that choice for you. If not, getting a regular brisket from the store is just fine as well. So today what I'm going to put on is uh, salt, which of course I don't have on the table. Um, let's see, where did I put the oh, salts right here? Oh, the last place you look. So I'm really going to heavily salt it. I like it um, with a lot of salt on it. I really need to buy some more salt. This is all I have left in the world in the kitchen. And uh, it's surprising how quickly I go through salt. I feel like when I grew up, we had one bottle of Morton salt and it was there like my entire childhood. Now I go through salt like every two months I gotta buy a new thing of salt. Um, so anyway, there you go. And then I got this new spice mix from someone that um, I'm really curious about. So this is, I don't know if you can see this, it is uh, Spice Club, Spice Club. And uh, this is the Turkish 10 spice and it has, it's a fragrant, a fragrance uh, spice blend, and it's a Turkish version of a curry powder and made up made up of nine different ground spices. Plus, the tenth spice is a secret ingredient ingredient that you add, which is love. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's got turmeric, cumin, coriander, allspice, sumac, fenugreek, Turkish red pepper, ginger, and black pepper. I think it smells really good, and I've used it on um, hamburger a couple of times. So. I'm thinking about, um, you know, trying it on the brisket. So you can see that in there. It's very, ooh, it's very yellow. It's very pungent. So again, a little goes a long way. So I'm actually going to do this, um, I think with a pinch, taking a hefty pinch and sort of spreading it on. So, yum. Uh, I think that'll be interesting, you know? If it's bad, well, you know, how bad can it be? It's still beef, it's still gonna be good. Okay, so there's that. Now, this is not the fattiest brisket. You know, the one thing I don't like about a grass-fed meat often is that it's, you know, it's been, it's either very lean naturally or it's been very trimmed, so it is, this is pretty lean. So I've got this, which is beef suet. Um, it's a uh, tallow made from beef suet from the Lardis, which is somebody I found on, Insta um, on Etsy. And his tallow I love because it's so, um, it's so much milder than, I think I just don't really like suet. And so most tallow is made from suet, and it tastes and smells like suet. So um, this is milder and it doesn't have you know, this kind of same taste that I don't really like. And it's also, when I'm not keeping it in the fridge, softer um, and not doesn't have quite the same waxy um, texture. So I'm just adding some, um, you know, so that I'll have a lot of fat when um, this is all done cooking. So I know that seems like a lot, but it's four pounds of meat. You know, needs, needs its fat. That's what makes it taste good. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so what I've um, already done is turn on the um, oven at 300 degrees, so it's already been heating up and should be ready shortly. 
and I'm just going to seal this whole thing with aluminum foil. I try to tent it so it's not, you know, like squeezed up against the meat. Um, and then just go around and make sure it's really squeezed tight so it's airtight. Well, I don't know, it's not airtight, but you know, it's gonna keep the, uh, the steam in from the cooking meat. Um, yeah. So that's it. So in uh, four or five hours, dinner is served.